guys, it's me again, Raya, and today I'm gonna be talking about something that I have personally struggled with at the start of this quarantine, and that is productivity. So honestly, before the quarantine, I was very busy. I didn't really know what was going on anymore. Like, um, I only knew my schedule from today and tomorrow because the rest is just full on packed. So it would just, and then there'd be like some tasks that would be inserted within those. Like my, my schedule was quite variable, but it was really packed most of the time. So when I got into quarantine, it was, um, it's basically whiplash. It felt like I was finally getting a rest from the hectic schedule that I had. So it was really good for me at the beginning. So I mostly spent that time really just sleeping, binge watching on series. That was the time I got into Untamed or Modao Zushi and like, great times. I also rewatched the Avatar because why not? I still had my work from home. So when I wasn't doing my work from home, I was just doing that. I was sleeping. I was binge watching stuff. But you know, by the time May arrived, I was like, wait, we're still here? So I figured, okay, this is something that I have to deal with. I just felt like I was stagnating because the only things I was focusing on was working from home and then I would just sleep and binge watch so it didn't really feel like much i i don't think i was getting the most out of my day because my work from home doesn't really take up much time so if most of the time i was really just sleeping and i was just like what am i doing with my life also when i was stagnating it kind of gave me room to just overthink and feel like sad or like useless you know like there's so much more time for you to contemplate like damn this year sucks damn this government sucks and a lot of other things and you know it just makes you doubt especially since you're at home you don't get to talk to your friends as much or see them also your family they're just um everything just seems remote and irrelevant like because you're just at because you're just at home you're, you're not doing anything you don't feel like you're taking part in the world out there because the world is basically stagnating as well so i was like you know what it's time to get back into the things that i wanted to do and just be productive about my day so other than just working from home and sleeping and binge watching things i would have other things to do it was mostly trial and error from there coming up with a routine that works for me after all i did have stuff that i wanted to do before but i never had a time like my hobbies which are journaling um getting into cooking again um sewing stuff and so from there i was like you know what we should just schedule that and treat it as tasks like, I started out with this weekly schedule so like I would do this on Monday I would do this on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday but eventually like with that routine coming back again the next week you'd real because you know how like the time just passes by and you don't notice it's Monday Tuesday Wednesday and then like you're doing for example I was doing um sewing on Tuesdays and then it'll be Tuesday again and I'm doing the same thing and I'd be like oh I'm it's Tuesday again like what even is the point of this it felt very empty I suppose because it was just um, redundant doing the same things over and over again it doesn't change the fact that I am at home so it didn't really feel like I was productive so how I solved that was instead of having that Monday Tuesday Wednesday like set um, schedule I would have a daily to-do list so um, for example, it's Monday. I would make a to-do list for Tuesday. So all the tasks that I didn't finish on Monday or I feel like doing tomorrow, I would do on Tuesday. There's that surprise of like, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing on Wednesday. We'll see how it goes today and then I will plot that what I'm going to be doing on Wednesday later on. It's like you're just taking one day at a time instead of like taking it by chunks of weeks. In case I do have something that I would need to do... A week later or if it's not urgent I would have a to-do list for weekly I would have um, a not urgent task I still haven't had like a monthly to-do list so far I haven't had tasks that are like I need to do this within this month it's usually just within the week or it's not urgent so like there's no deadline I could do it if I do have like the free time that I feel like doing it so so far that has really worked for me compared to just setting a schedule that's weekly it has really also helped to set a routine though um so there are things that i would do on the daily so they would fill up chunks of my day for sure and it just gives me like hey guys editing raya here so i kind of went off tangent there basically what i was saying is that having a routine gives you this sort of uniformity in a day so it puts your day into schedules like um if you have a routine where you eat 
breakfast at 7 and then you do yoga at 8 and then you start work by 9 then it kind of puts your body into the mood where okay i'm gonna work at 9 so it sets you in that atmosphere for you to start working so you set a time in your day where you do the random thing that you plan on doing today so for example for me that's at 1 to 4 p.m i would do whatever needs to be done today for example that would be like editing a youtube video or trying out a recipe i saw online so that could really be anything so instead of having a set schedule from monday to sunday you still have a routine that gets you generally in the mindset to do work or to do a hobby that you're gonna get into for the day but it's not fully set weekly so you don't have to repeat it you have this space for you to just do whatever you feel like doing now back to the video so of course since we're talking about productivity we could not ignore work i mean if you're like me you probably wouldn't find it productive at all if you didn't have work to do so for me i have work from home because i am a social media manager and a content writer so i have daily tasks for those and also weekly tasks for those basically have something that would occupy the most of your day and then that you find personally is productive uh, if your job is taking care of your kids or taking care of your dogs or having a farm then yeah definitely that's what's gonna work for you if you do not have a job and you want to find a job, I would recommend sites such as Online Jobs and Upwork. I have no idea about other sites. I have heard of Fiverr but it doesn't seem as um, permanent to me because it's really just taking up clients so I'm not so sure about that. Um, you could also link it down below if you do know any other sites. Also Charm from Ready to Adult PH has a video about online side hustles that you could try at home so if you do want to check out that that would be very useful also an app that i have found really useful for this whole productivity thing is the basic timer so with how we've been staying at home all the time we just kind of lose track of time uh, before i was pretty sure that i could work on an article for like 30 minutes and i'd be done because i'd be rushing through it but now since we've just been in quarantine this entire time i think it kind of takes me for over an hour because i get distracted when when I write articles. I just have this timer going like I have to work on this article within an hour. Uh, it just reminds my brain to be actively thinking that I, I am working on this article instead of getting distracted like wait what was that Twitter post that I was gonna send my mom or like what was that thing I was gonna tell Erica. So um, it just keeps me focused by having the timer on. With having the timer on you get to separate your day into chunks of time. So um, you know how like we have 24 hours. You can have 4 hours of it doing your job. You can have four hours of it cooking you can have four hours of it playing with your dog so it just um it just keeps me aware of what i am doing within the day instead of just staring into space or like mindlessly scrolling through twitter or tiktok yeah it's really just easy to just fall into that and sp and then the next thing you know it's already like 12 midnight and like whoa where did my day go so for my actual job i do use apps for team management so that's trello and asana it's really useful if you're working with a team and you need to track which tasks are due when, who is working on which, which ones um, are there anything lacking per project or per tasks. Then yeah, it just makes it easier to keep track of. Especially if you're doing um, like an online business which you're doing with your friends and you need help with like, I don't know, graphics and then photos or whatever. Have your tasks aligned and which ones do you need to work on now so you don't just you know forget about it and the next thing you know it's already been months so there's that but the most important thing to get you to be productive within the day is just really finding something that motivates you this is also something that i have struggled with so i would wake up early like let's say 10 that's early for me and then i just hang out in the bed because like i'd have nothing to motivate me to get up so yeah i'd end up wasting the day away anyway because i didn't feel like getting up that day so just find something that motivates you so um that could be i'm gonna have this breakfast tomorrow that could be like i'm gonna have hot dogs and eggs tomorrow and that's so that's enough uh, that's that's great motivation just so find something that would make you want to get out of bed every day also if you are working from home it also motivates you like if I need to get my paycheck because I'm gonna buy a motorcycle or something like that. Just just think of things to motivate yourself. You gotta motivate yourself to like, get up, we need to go through this. 
just remember that everybody else is going through the same thing everybody probably feels like shit as much as you do and you can you can find comfort in them you can talk to people I'm getting productive isn't really about you know just earning money if that is what motivates you to do things in life then yeah definitely go for it earn money um but getting productive it's just all about really motivating yourself to do something with your day so that's anything you would like to do would you like to do some exercise today would you like to cook today would you like to um eat today would you like to pet your dogs or like do skincare yes go ahead do it do all of it today if you are looking for things to fill up your schedule with there are various things you could check out i do have a lot of friends who have been exploring new hobbies recently like i have a friend who's been into makram i've been is that how you pronounce it is it makram makram i have no idea macrame i have a lot of friends who got into cooking like me um, i also have friends who got into plants and um oh i have a friend who got into crochet just do whatever makes you happy. If you feel like making YouTube videos, then yeah, go for it. If you make, if you want to make shit posts, then yes, that's also being productive. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. I hope this made sense. Um, please feel free to comment down below if you have um, any other suggestions, like possible job opportunities for people. Um, what hobbies you've been getting into, so maybe the people can also get into those. Um, definitely books or series that you would recommend to other people for them to watch while you know they're they're in quarantine hope you enjoyed this video and see you again next week bye